cap management's mid cap stocks uh, in action and this one definitely comes into action especially with exam season out of the way plenty of uh, kids are sitting around for their summer holidays uh, not knowing what to do so they turn to those camelin products Absolutely. and uh, really draw up a storm a lot of it mr dandeker your margins have been increasing steadily quarter on quarter year on year what are the strategic and operational changes that you have done to ensure this profitability see last uh, three years uh, the constructive plan what we have done in increasing the uh, capacities of our manufacturing base and uh, earlier we were to depending on more on the outsource product so that has been changed the strategies now after the reservation policy has been withdrawn by the government uh, we we have invested a good amount of money in our manufacturing facilities and a new plant has been created at jammu uh, uh, where uh, the state of art manufacturing as well as in vasai these are the two centers we have created for making the products which has helped in increasing our profitability as well as the volume business any specific reason for increased investment only in jammu plant do you see more profitability coming in from there or has it got something to do with the tech shops or uh, uh, it's just the locational advantage that you're seeing out of it see location is the one advantage basically uh, there are benefits available which was offered by central government in terms of uh, excise uh, rebate as well as on the income tax but more than that uh, this is the since it is a new plant Uh, compared to our original uh, earlier uh, two uh, different manufacturing location what we had done is that we could plan well in everything in properly so that uh, the uh, flow process everything has been uh, decided in such a way that the cost of production comes down substantially and this is what we have achieved in jammu Right. Interesting. You mentioned that the cost of production, because you know, really pricing is quite a sensitive arena. For instance, uh, you know, as a consumer, or rather, my children are. Uh, you know, you take a look at uh, you know the prices very closely, and you've got a lot of other players there, not just Chinese, uh, even Indian uh, players who've come in and are really dominating the marketplace. So, as a market share strategy, I mean, do you see pricing really uh, being the cornerstone as far as Camlin is concerned? Where does your current market share stand, and how do you see yourself holding on to to it in the current market context? the pricing issue of course is a, a concern with uh, any consumer product especially fmcg product uh, because now there is a competition now the, since the market is growing the competition is also increasing in that proportion uh, what is very important is that how to restrict the cost and that is exactly the process control then the uh, effective buying of raw material and uh, is, uh, the volume these are the three important aspects which uh, we are following and that's why we are in spite of in, in input cost going up we are able to maintain the margin great uh, mr dandekar everything is looking hunky dory for you i'm just trying to get a sense of how would you do in terms of numbers if i'm not wrong you've done close to 240 crores in the nine months that have gone by how much would q4 be for you maybe not in terms of numbers but in terms of growth and would fy11 as it as things stand right now look even better than what fy10 has looked at see uh, the tradition uh, in in last so many years is that fourth quarter is normally a school buying uh, quarter the most of the schools in northern india eastern india and now the trend also there is in the western india sure. to purchase the uh, material before the close of the academic year and that's why uh, uh, what we have found that uh, in this particular quarter there was a substantial growth in the purchases especially which has taken place in north and uh, all of you know that the government of india as well as the uh, uh, the state governments are giving lot of attention on education right and that is going to be the biggest advantage for any stationary manufacturing Actually, company in future that was that was going to be my next question which is how how much is right to education Uh, as a law going to help you do you have some calculations what what we have uh, seen in last 2 3 3 years is that uh, the number of uh, children who are started taking the education in a better environmental school like for example if you find that the uh, uh, they were going to the school in a particular now you will find lot of this day boarding schools have come mm -hmm. uh, surrounding the metro cities 
and uh, the, those are the schools where the children have a lot of time available so naturally the use of stationary use of education material is increasing because to keep them busy hmm. along with the uh, their regular curriculum the sure. important things so sure, mr ranikar running completely out of time you've done i just trying to get a number out of you. you've done 240 crores till now how much would you do in f510 would it be safe to assume 350 400 crores uh no actually the figure is basically the compared to last year we are grown very well and we are hoping that around yes, between 15 to 20% growth will be there over last year well mr dandikar thank you so very much for joining us on the show thank today you. thank you really appreciate your time and of course uh, as camlin as as uh, all the anchors here i think have uh, grown up with with camlin products yes, and it's, it's a company that holds uh, a special place in all our hearts uh, children nowadays may be using a lot of chinese products and probably <laughs> you never know yeah. um, <laughs> but uh, in when we were young we didn't have a choice and uh, we were <laughs> we were all with 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 camlin uh, well uh, coming now is uh, vishal bhargav and